So today I'm going to be filming a review type of video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. So this is the highlighter that I'm going to be reviewing today. But before I get into this video, make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see more of. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you follow my social media, which is just there, MichaelaJ218. And... Yeah, that's all I really have to say, so let's get into the video. So as I mentioned before, this is the highlighter. ELF is sold at Kmart in Australia, if you wanted to know that, if you don't know where to get ELF from, if you live in Australia. They had two different highlighters, one was a pinky toned one, and this one is a golden toned one. So that's personally what I like in my makeup. I like anything really golden related, like I got a ELF eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be reviewing on this channel soon. It is the Golden Goddess one. So I guess we'll see how that goes. I haven't opened it yet and I haven't tried it obviously because it's not opened. So the packaging is obviously as you would expect. It's really cheap. It's really plasticky obviously. This highlighter was $9. But it's got a really good like clip to it. So as you can see it has a little bump. That's because this is a baked bronzer. I'm pretty sure that's why. But yeah, it's got a little bump and I would probably like to say that the bottom of the pan is on a little slope as well. It makes you look like you're getting a lot of product, but you're not. I guess we'll just have to see when I hit pan. But I'm wearing it at the moment. I can't tell if you see. I'm using natural lighting at the moment. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, that's what the highlighter looks like. If I just run my finger over it, it's not that pigmented. So I'm not sure if you can see, but it's not that pigmented. I'll show you a close-up of the swatches right now. <laughs> it's not that pigmented. If I put it on my hand, it's not that pigmented. However, it is such a beautiful highlighter, and I would recommend it just because you can build it up. So if you just go with one swipe, you're not going to get much highlight action. You're not probably going to get the desired highlight that you want. It's very subtle. But if you continue going over and over it, it doesn't cake up, but it does get really intense. Like, this is not the most intense that I can get it. If I had studio lighting right now, this highlighter would be like, bam, like right in your face. So as I said, this highlighter is $9 from Kmart. You can get it online for also $9, whether like on the Australian website. I'm not sure how much it costs in America, but I would assume that it is a lot cheaper because American money is just a lot cheaper in general. So my final thoughts on this product, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants a subtle highlighter but is able to still build it up. They want a vegan, cruelty-free highlighter and they want a highlighter that's cheap and affordable. So this product is extremely affordable and I feel like it would suit all skin types. If you had really dark skin, this highlighter would look literally perfect on you. Like if you were of African descent or something, you would look amazing in this highlight. Literally, this would look just amazing. This highlighter would also look good on those with really white skin. I feel like this highlighter would look good with everyone. So if you want to try out this highlighter, I definitely recommend trying it out. Obviously, my opinion is going to be completely different to what your opinion is going to be like, or it could be the same, who knows. But I would definitely recommend trying it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments like do you, did you like this product did you not like it tell me why tell me why not you know stuff like that so yeah that pretty much concludes this video and I'm gonna go now bye <laughs>